Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out some Aliexpress makeup. I have the P. Louise Eye Base Dupe in the shade Mint Green. We also have the beautiful fluttery wispy but probably very tricky to apply single falsies. We also have a red mascara from Han Diane which we may or may not end up putting on it just depends on how the eye look turns out and I am also going to be using my collaboration palette with You Can Be the cellophane palette to create an eye look today. We're going to be starting off with the Beck Sale Eyeshadow Primer. So this is an obvious dupe for the P. Louise eye bases. The kind of whole kind of look of the product and also the idea of the product is exactly the same as her eye bases. I did just spend a few minutes just uh, kind of cross-referencing the ingredients from this product to the P. Louise ingredients and I must say that there were very little similarities. They only share, I'd say, out of probably 20 ingredients, they probably share about five of the same. So I don't know if that's kind of worrying or not, but anyway i just thought it was interesting to like check because you know we do try out a lot of dupes here on this channel and i was just really keen to see it, have they used this same or very similar ingredients as the p louise and just put their own branding on it because if so you would definitely say then well yeah you're kind of paying for the name with p louise but then again if they've come up with that formula that's their secret formula and like in spongebob with Crichton, you can't be stealing someone else's secret formula you know it's just not on i'm gonna apply this eye base all of my lid and then i'm just gonna blend it upwards so this is in the shade mint green oh my gosh it looks really beautiful but i wouldn't necessarily say this is mint green it's more of like kind of like an emerald kind of green this does seem to be quite runny i was kind of expecting it would have a thicker kind of consistency but oh well oh well yeah i've not put my usual eye base on today because i wanted my eyes to be naked okay so i've got a brush i'm just gonna dip it in Ooh, oh that is beautiful <gasps> Do you know what? That is absolutely gorgeous. I am not a frequent kind of green wearer, but this is stunning. Like stunning. It's kind of really making the green in my hazel eyes pop. This is actually going on so beautifully as well. It's just so easy to apply because it isn't thick. It's just going on like an absolute dream. But I am going to be setting this with an eyeshadow from my collaboration palette. Oh, guys, this is a real pleasure to apply. And it's like it's so quick as well, you know, to get, get it covered all over your lid. Oh, I love this. I'm very interested to know, is this going to dry down or would it remain kind of wet on your lid? I've got a feeling it's probably going to remain quite like sticky and tacky just because it is an eye base and you know the intention is that you're going to be putting something else kind of over the top but I really love that. I love the shade it's just giving me all kinds of fun feelings in my vagina. Oh do you know it's so much fun applying this. It's so opaque it's got a nice sheen to it it just is an absolute pleasure, a pleasure to apply this. I'm really enjoying myself. It's also super pigmented and this shade is so gorgeous. It's just getting more and more stunning the longer I look at it. Part of me doesn't even want to blend this out because I just, I love how it's looking. But I'm going to begrudgingly blend it. I'm just going to kind of blend around those edges. Uh, guys, this is like so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, domed brush and I'm just going to, just going to kind of blend around these edges. Oh, guys, I love it. I love it. It does look a little bit patchy, like not really over here, but over here, can you see? where I've just kind of maybe over blended it a little bit, but um, 
oh i really love the look i really want to put some on my lower lash as well so i'm using the same brush i used to apply it to the lid and just popping that under there okay right so do you know what i might just use this brush as well just to tap over those you know the areas of patchiness that we had going on that because that looks better now oh my gosh yes I think the trick is with this product is when you're kind of doing your initial application, take it like fairly high past the crease so that you literally only blend the very edges because if you start blending uh, lower down, it just makes the whole thing look quite patchy. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more just over here because I'm noticing that both sides... They're not very symmetrical, and that is, quite frankly, unacceptable. Yeah, you really only want to just blend out the very edges of the line as opposed to be, you like, you don't want to be going in and blending this because it just ends up looking a bit patchy. Okay, so now that we've done that, and I am so happy with this, I'm over the moon with this, I'm going to go into my cellophane palette, and I'm going to be using this beautiful metallic kind of creamy uh, emerald green shade. I'm going to be popping that all upon my lid, and... Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's what we're doing now. It's so excited. Oh, do you know what I've just thought, though? Do you think a cream is going to work well on top of a cream? Because this shadow is it's kind of like a, a crushed pigment and it has some kind of emollients to it. So, ah, oh, do you know what? I'm not going to be able to use this today. And that is incredibly sad, but we'll use her another time, of course. So I need a spectacular spectacular green powder shade oh. okay so here we have a flash from the past this is the urban decay moon dust palette and i've not actually used her in so long like so long i'm thinking should i use this shade here which is it looks like that should i just give it a little go if i just pop a little bit on Oh yeah, I'm loving it. Right, we're going to be using this. It's decided. I'm just using my finger to apply this all over the lid. Oh, this looks so gorgeous. And the base is definitely still quite tacky. Like, and it feels really comfortable on the lid. It's not like sticky, kind of heavy, oily kind of feel. It's more like, I don't know, it just feels like it's set. But at the same time, it still has that much needed tack to it to uh, be able to adhere to your shadow you're about to put on. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to be popping this shade on the inner corner and then I'm going to go in with one of the other shades for the outer corner. Oh, I really like how this is looking guys. I'm loving it. Do you know what? I'm really pleased as well to finally be using this Urban Decay eyeshadow palette because she's an absolutely gorgeous palette. It's just that I just don't seem to reach for her ever. I mean, I've had her about five years at this point. So I'm going to go in with this super tiny little brush just so I can get into every single nook and cranny. Oh, guys, I'm just literally, I'm living my very best emerald green lifestyle right now. But I am very conscious that we do have more, you know, more of the base like here on this side than we do here. So I'm going to try to go back in in a sec and sort that out although i'll probably end up fecking it up we all know that don't we guys it's probably going to happen i'm thinking you know in the outer face should i go in with this shade like a midnight blue but it's got like little golden green kind of glitters in i think i'm just gonna oh okay okay it's going on this is happening okay oh yeah i like it okay phew Oh, guys, can you see that? <gasps> oh, yes. Do you know what? I need to use this palette more because it is so beautiful. But I also do feel like this eye base is oh, I? Oh, oh, no, guys, we have an issue. Oh, shit. I'll just shake and hope it all falls off. Oh, no, right, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing on. 
Oh gosh, I picked way too much of that up, right? I'm going to just concentrate for a minute, guys, because apparently I'm not very good at talking and applying makeup at the same time, which isn't too promising for my YouTube channel. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I am going to take a little brush here just to try and... Oh, I've created a little mini wing. Can you see that? I'll try and do that again. Can I try and do that over here too? No. Okay, it didn't work there. But Okay, so I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just dipping it in the same shade. Oh, do you know what? I'm absolutely... I'm loving this palette. I need to use this palette so much more. And so far, this base is really impressing me. I can see that it just comes into its own when, you know, maybe you've got these kinds of glitter-infused shadows that, you know, it's kind of tough for the glitter to actually stay on your lid. I think wearing this kind of, you know, super opaque pigmented base can really help these, like, um, you know, glitter-infused eyeshadows to work or just any eyeshadow. I'm all about about the base and I've never really been a big kind of believer or not believable I've never been someone that's really understood the need for the P. Louise bases but as I sit here now on my crushed velvet executive makeup chair I now realize the error of my ways right okay oh do you know what I might do I'm going to grab a little bit of like a green shadow just to kind of blend this out and I've got the perfect shade look at that oh this is from the Clyde's makeup sci-fi turquoise palette so this is going to be perfect for me just to blend out the edges okay so I have a master plan I'm going to use these cheek guards I'm going to pop them onto my eyes so that I can create a sharp line which is what I probably should have done in the first place and then I'm just going to go in with a wipe and clean up the rest so that's my plan that's what we're doing because I really want this eye look to look as good as it can okay so I'm feeling much happier with everything since I went in with those cheek guards so again i'm just like kind of working these edges because i just i want this to look good next i want to try out the single lashes but i just want to say because i can't move on till i've said once again i absolutely love this base i've not tried the p louise version so i can't tell you how it compares but what i can tell you is this is considerably cheaper and I certainly had no issues with it today. It did everything I wanted it to do. It actually looked a lot better than I expected it would look for a base. Usually we think of bases as being, you know, maybe not so pigmented, but this is pigmented and really easy to apply and it feels really comfortable on the lid. So I really recommend and I am definitely going to be buying more shades. So these are the single lashes that we've got today. I have to tell you right now, I'm terrible at applying strip lashes and I'm probably going to be terrible at applying single lashes, but I kind of feel like these would probably be easier because they're single lashes. Like the thing that I always find most challenging with strip lashes is I stick one side down and then the other side just pops right up and I stick that down and the other side pops right up. It's like the seesaw of hell, honestly. So I'm hoping that these are going to be easier because surely you just kind of stick them on to where you want them to go. Look, I'm going to regret how much i'm underestimating how difficult this is probably going to be we can all have a laugh about that later so also i'm not sure should i be applying mascara first or not i think i'm going to go ahead and actually apply or should i or do i apply mascara all together okay so i've been sat here wondering right should i apply mascara first or after i've applied the falsies and after a long and much confused discussion with myself i have decided that i'm going to apply mascara after i've applied these so that everything just blends in together the lash glue i'm going to be using today is by mb lashes i have no idea where i got this from how long i've had it or if it's actually any good but this is the only lash glue i could find as i said i don't really wear falsies and when i do i much prefer magnetic lashes okay so this is what the lashes look like if i remember correctly i I do believe that on the advertisement they claim to be 
mink lashes but i can tell you right now they are definitely not if they were mink lashes they would be about quadruple the price and you know i definitely would not be supporting real mink lashes okay so they look really really cute really wispy they feel nice oh they feel a bit freaky actually but Oh, this is tricky. Do you know already I can see that this is going to be tricky because it's even... I've dropped it and I'm not even going to bother searching for it because I'm never going to find it. So luckily we have loads, so I'm just going to move on to the next one. So straight away I've come into my first difficulty because I realised, like, how do you even hold them because they're so tiny well luckily i've got this little clamp thing so i'm just kind of i've clamped it i'm going to apply some of my glue oh this is going to be so tricky guys so tricky and i'm just going to glue glue the tip oh i've glued the wrong side because yeah i've just okay right let's start again D do you get the feeling that i'm just going to go through each and every one of these and I'm not actually going to have applied any to my actual eye. Right, I've got it clamped again. So, <laughs> oh, I can just see this is going to end up being a disaster. But I'm just going to go along with it as if everything's going to be fine. Oh, I almost dropped it again. Shit. So I've finally got it. I've got it, guys. So, oh, it's falling off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> Right, it's fallen off and it's now current status stuck to my makeup table. Right, okay, so I've got the little fecker again. And before it decides to hop off, I'm just going to stick it on. Which I am making sound very easy, but it's not. So I'm just going to pop it there. Okay, and apparently it's now stuck to this, this little tool. Stick on your fecker. I can't get it stuck on because it's stuck to my fucking tool oh guys okay maybe it'd be best if i just hold it and stick it on oh do you know what i'm already losing the will to live with this oh shit oh where's it gone it's gone again fuck okay wait i'm gonna try one more time and if this doesn't work then we're not gonna be having any falsies on our eyelashes today that's just what's happening guys because i just can't be asked by the way these are my new duck clips from um aliexpress and i really love them so let's put that one there right okay guys this is my last my last go because honestly i, I oh it was stuck on my finger that's where she went <sighs> Guys, how does anyone do this? How does anyone do this? Because they're so small. They're impossible to manoeuvre unless you were like, you know, a borrower or something. I just don't think this is going to work. And here's me thinking that these will be a lot easier to apply than strip lashes. Well, who's the fool now? Um, okay, oh, I've got this in my left hand. It needs to go in my right hand. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Okay, so she's on. She's on, but has she made any impact whatsoever that's worth all this effort? No, she's not. Oh, maybe if I pop her on the bottom lash, that might be a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop her on the bottom lash. No. Do you know what? I I accept defeat. I just don't think this is going to work. I don't think I was destined to wear any kind of false lashes because I just I can't do it. I don't have the qualification. And also, now that I really think about it, you'd have to apply a feck load of these for it to actually make any real difference, you know, to your lashes. Yeah, I don't have time for that. So this was a fail, definite fail. I'm just going to console my sadness with my green tea. I really hope that you're not too disappointed about that. Believe me, I really wanted them to work, but I just couldn't get them to work. Okay, so next we're going to be applying the Hand Diane Red Mascara. So I do have a few 
of these in other shades and i really really like this mascara because it has a super super skinny wand which just makes it ideal for the lower lashes which i always really really struggle with um you know trying to do my lower lashes with a regular size wand and some of these mascara ones are gigantic if you want any colored mascaras hand diana is a brand that i really do recommend because it's affordable they've got great range of shades so the mascara itself is nothing to write home about it's not going to make your lashes look thicker or longer or wispy or fluttery it is definitely going to give you a bit of color if that's what you want then this would definitely do the job okay so i know it's actually a bit tricky for you to see like i can see the redness but i feel like unless you're really really close to me you're probably not gonna be able to see it which is a real shame but i'll take some photos after filming and hopefully it will be a bit clearer in the photos i for one really really like this i would definitely say it's kind of like an orangey red so um yeah i mean it looks nice but it's not very obvious Okay, so this is the final look. I popped on some faux freckles. I decided against trying to attempt a wing because I didn't really feel like it would have added anything to the look. And say if I'd had like a beautiful uh, kind of turquoise or green liquid liner, I probably would have been tempted to have done it, but I just didn't think it would add anything and I knew it would cause me a lot of stress. So I've just left the look unwinged. I popped my mascara on and to finish off I'm going to be popping on some of this beautiful uh, matte lip crayon by L'Oreal. So this is in the shade Caramel Blondie and it's a beautiful beautiful kind of peachy shade or pinky shade. Hmm. I'm sure this used to be peach. What? I know it's very pink. Oh do you know what I don't really want pink today. Ah that's disappointing. Ah, so I really want like a peachy or corally kind of lip today. So I'm going in with my absolute favourite, the Audacious Lipstick by NARS. Oh, I absolutely love this lip product, but it's now been discontinued and I'm just so sad about it. It's so sad. I'm just trying to savour every last swipe of it. Okay, so I'm going to take out my cute little duck clips. Two of these have already been taken by the boys because they just they seem to love it. like all things of mine which I mean I don't mind I don't mind I love all things of mine too okay so this is the final look I absolutely love everything but I do just want to apologize because I know at the beginning oh no actually I tried two out of the three products I was just I don't know I just thought that I'd only tried one of the products the eye base but then I remembered the hand eye and mascara which I know you cannot really see which is really unfortunate but I'll take some photos after filming and hopefully in photos you may be able to see it a bit better but in person I can't see it I know that that does not help you out at all and for that I feel like incredibly sorry but it is really nice and I would definitely recommend and I would recommend checking out their mascaras to see what other shades they have because I just think it's a fantastic product I know I said this before but I'm just going to end the video by saying it again the eye base by Beckinsale is absolutely fantastic i am so excited to get more of these because like even now it feels so comfortable on my eyes and believe me i'm quite picky with what i put on my eyes particularly cream products and also eye bases i find that a lot of them can just be very uncomfortable sticky wet and i just feel like a lot of the time they're more problematic than they're actually worth but with this one i love it you could wear it on its own you could wear it as a base you could put it all over your vagina and just call it a day like whatever it's just a great great product so i'm definitely going to be trying out some more i really want a white one because i think that would be perfect to work in conjunction with my pastels eyeshadow palette from beauty bay oh my gosh the possibilities are just endless but anyway guys i really hope that you've enjoyed the video today Day. thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye
Oh my gosh, guys. So I literally was just sat here taking the thumbnails for this video. And as I was taking one of the thumbnails, I had this mascara like this. And it was at that moment that I realized this is not by Hand Diane, but it's by Kamaju. So I do apologize, guys. Like I do have mascaras like this that are from Hand Diane. So I just... I got a bit confused is what happened. I, I'm just going to see if I can find one of my hand iron ones to show you. Just so you don't think I'm going cr too crazy. Oh, I can't find any of my hand iron ones. So you never know. Maybe I am just going crazy. But anyway, so I do apologise for that, guys. This is by Kamaju, not hand iron. I mean, really, guys, that's great.